statue could now be worth more than $400 billion. That's more than Disney and Comcast combined. Its top creator, Mr. Beast, thinks YouTube will be even bigger than television ever was. In years, YouTube's gonna be bigger than television ever was, for culture, in America at least, in my opinion. People, I don't think people really understand just how, like, to be a, one of the top creators on the biggest social media platform, and that, and that will also be the biggest in 10 years during that whole time, like, the amount of value and how crazy that is. Like, you don't need a network, you don't need, um, you know, to go through people, you just, are you can and you can do whatever you want and you can influence people how you want it's just wild it's mind-blowing and you can leverage that to build businesses or you know like do things like beast philanthropy or whatever i think like people don't realize just how much influence the top youtube channels have since its inception in 2005 youtube has transformed from a simple video sharing website to a global phenomenon oh jolly <laughs> jolly that really hurts at the heart of YouTube's success lies its large community of content creators, whose diverse voices and creativity have propelled the platform to unprecedented heights. Why are you running? Why are you running? What began as a platform for sharing amateur videos has blossomed into a thriving marketplace of ideas thanks to the contributions of millions of creators worldwide. From aspiring filmmakers and musicians to educators, gamers and beauty gurus, YouTube has provided a platform for anyone with a camera and an internet connection to share their voice with the world. Did you guys know that YouTube is the second most viewed website in the world? It also, as of right now, has two billion active users. Like, dude, 79% of people on the internet have a YouTube account. If you are not using YouTube to expand your content, your streams, your work or anything, then I don't know what you're doing. YouTube also offers a premium subscription service called YouTube Premium, which provides users with ad-free viewing, access to exclusive original content, and the ability to download videos for offline viewing. An increasing number of people are paying for YouTube's music and premium services. Based on the latest YouTube user stats, there are now over 100 million paying subscribers on the platform. The allure of premium, high-quality content incentivizes users to subscribe to the service, especially those who value an uninterrupted viewing experience and access to exclusive shows and movies. I honestly think that YouTube Premium is one of the best value subscriptions you can pay for and that might be a hot take but let me explain. So of course you get the obvious benefit of having no ads on any YouTube videos you play on any device and that's without the use of an ad blocker. But something that's kind of cool is that your view as a YouTube Premium member is actually worth more monetarily to your favorite creators as opposed to a viewer who doesn't pay for YouTube Premium. You also get background play, offline playback and YouTube TV ad free. But with YouTube Premium you also get a free subscription to YouTube Music ad free. So you get ad free YouTube plus a fully fledged music streaming service for the same price as just Spotify or Apple Music alone. But here's where things get even better because a YouTube Premium family subscription costs 23 bucks a month, and that can be used by five people simultaneously. YouTube's primary source of revenue is still advertising, not subscriptions. But 100 million is nothing to sneeze at, and the steady growth of YouTube Premium and YouTube Music means they'll play an important role in YouTube's future. Despite the long-time dominance, YouTube certainly faces competition from emerging video platforms like TikTok. First of all, when it comes to the money element, if you are starting social media because you want to become an influencer or you want to work with brands, you can actually charge a lot more for YouTube sponsorships than you can for TikTok sponsorships with the same amount of followers. So you having 60,000 TikTok followers and 60,000 YouTube subscribers isn't the same thing. You can charge a lot more for 60,000 subscribers on YouTube than you can for 60,000 followers on TikTok. And that brings me on to the second reason. The second reason why there's a real difference between those platforms and also the audience that you end up acquiring is that traditionally on YouTube, when you build an audience, your audience is slightly more engaged. And the reason why is because YouTube content is long form video content, right? A lot of YouTube creators, their videos are 10 to 20 minutes, maybe even more. The longer your video content, the deeper the opportunity you have to bond with your audience. If you are bonding with your audience on a deeper level and you have got thousands of people who are watching literally like 20 minutes of you talking or you going about your day, that actually equates to a slightly higher quality audience than the audience that you might have on TikTok. It just basically means that your audience on YouTube are more likely to be more engaged. 
As a result of them being more engaged, you're able to charge more for brand partnerships, but also if you ever try to launch a business or do anything like that, you might have more success with a big YouTube following than if you have a big following on another platform. Obviously, there are exceptions to this rule, guys. I'm giving you the general overview of the key differences between having an audience on TikTok and an audience on YouTube. To remain competitive and maintain its position as the best video platform in the world, YouTube will need to continue innovating and expanding its global reach.